everyone. My name's Fair. Uh, this is my OBS. Um, that's not what we're talking about right now. I want to show you how you can create uh, a character for Unreal Engine 4, a playable character. And um, just a side note, I've been I've been having issues with my microphone, and you won't hear me very clearly. And so that's, I guess that's that. Um, so you want to launch Unreal Engine 4. You know there's like an issue with my microphone where it's like fading away every time I like won't, won't speak at all. So um... Okay, so I already... Um, so this is... yeah. So uh... This project 1, 2, 3. Okay, I will call the project, my project 1, 2, 3. And um, you can have you can decide if you will add starter content or won't st have starter content at all. Um, but I'll select no starter content just for the sake of having nothing in my project. Well, I have something. I will have a player start and uh, a lens flare, and you know. So my project is loading. I'll just delete this project. Um, okay. So now I have my blank project. That's that. Now what I can do is um, I can um, create a new game mode. A game mode. And I can call this whatever I want. I'm just going to call it game mode one two three, just because I called my uh, project my project one two three. Okay, so we just created a game mode. So as you can see, now we have blueprints in here, and we can add a character. So you don't want to uh, select one. You want to under. You want to. Uh, select character. A character you can use. So let's rename this to player one. Okay, let's put it in here. Okay, so we have our playable character. Well not really. We'll have to add some stuff in here. So you want to go to project settings. I just want to go to edit and then project settings, and then you want to go to input. And now you want to add one axis mapping, or I mean action mapping to action mappings, and that will be our jump key. So you want to select spacebar right here. Okay, so you have that, and now you want to have you want to um, add four axis mappings. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so and you want uh, so these are ac actually axis mapping groups. So, so you can add axis mappings to another group to a group so let's add one axis mapping to this group and this group and let's call this um, move forward and let's call this move right I'm gonna call this look up and call this Look right. <sighs> okay, so now let's add W in our move forward axis mapping group um, and S. You also have options for a g gamepad, so um, you can also use a controller. Uh, 
So, just, um, it has the same backstory behind it, so, um, you want to, um, oops, spacebar, oops, S, I meant S, I'm so retarded, I'm sorry, um, minus one, I didn't see that coming, um, why did I just put minus one in the scale value, because you're, you're actually going backwards, you know, let's call this minus 0 0.7, because you're actually not going as fast, as if you were going forward, because if you have minus one, you're going as fast if you, as if you were going forward, and that doesn't make sense at all. But anyways, let's go to move right, and add D, because you're going um, right, and A. You don't want to have A don't want to call this move left though no, you can call it move left but you still have to put minus one in a so you have minus one in a because uh, D is going right and a is going left and it ha doesn't have anything to do with this but it has to do with the um, action in the event graph so um, let's go to look up and let's select mouse Y and we actually, actually we want to change the skill to minus one as well. Why? Because um, if you won't select minus one, the mouse will be inverted. And I guess no one would like the mouse to be inverted. So um, that's why you should put minus one in the skill value. Um, there you have a look right. And that's going to be mouse X. We're just going to keep the scale value on one so we have this um, done already so now we can edit our character our player one. Oh, and before I continue you want to um, wherever is it the uh, yeah edit project settings and go to maps and modes and you want to change the pawn class to your character so that it's not character it's player one you want to change player one to the default pawn um, so uh, because if you wouldn't it wouldn't simply detect the the event graph would be for nothing actually so you know this is the game mode in here we have our game mode in here and if you won't link the game mode with a character the character is not going to move so um, it's that um, yeah that's that uh, so now we can add our add movement input movement actually add, add movement input okay and now we can copy this in here side right here okay so you want to have two uh, movement inputs and you want to have get or I mean control rotation uh, control rotation get control rotation that's that and now we can add get four vector and the um, get right vector and how do you how do you actually add something like this? It's uh, you just want to right click in this uh, open uh, field. Like it's not a field, but it's, it's like you want to in open space. You want to uh, click right click. You want to right click. Yes. So um, so we have this, and we can link this all all these. We can link all these values. It's pretty obvious because it's it's simply showing you um, what to do. Uh, so I guess uh, we're done with those now we can add our input so you want to scroll down to input you know right click input and then um, choose our access events move forward and then you go back input access events move right so now you can change uh, you can uh, you know 
drag this node to and these values to its right location. So let's do that. And now uh, pretty much we're done. We're not actually done because we still need to look around and jump. Um, so we can already actually move around as you can see. But um, that's uh, not what we want. Um, well, that's we actually that is what we want, but we're not done yet. So let's we'll just select all of this and create a comment comment section. And uh, I want to call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this player movement. Okay. And if you want to move around, you just hold the right click button. Okay. So, um, now you want to look for the your input and the pitch input. The pitch input. Right. So, we have our pitch input. Um, now let's go to input again. Access events. Look right. And uh, let's save this for now. Yes. Okay. So now let's go back to input. We have all, we already have our uh, input access uh, look right in there. So now look for the uh, lookup. And it's pretty easy to do. All you want to do is link those. And create a comment and call it whatever you want. The comment is actually not necessary, but it's just um, to organize our um, actions. Okay, and now we can um, just going to add a comment instantly. Now I'm going to call this comment action. And you can put a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of more things like physics and like you know when like Slender the Arrival you're actually going left and right and left and right. That's not an Unreal Engine game. I think it's Unity, but anyways you can also have this in Unity. Um, for example, um, I mean Unreal Engine. For example, Batman Arkham Asylum is made in in uh, Unreal Engine 4. No, not Unreal Engine 4, but in Unreal Engine 3 or 2, I don't know. But anyways, that's... Um, uh, anyways. Let's get back to creating a character topic. Uh, so now, you can want to add a jump button. That's actually the easiest of them all. So you just want to have input action jump. And you, of course you want this link the space bar or whatever you use for jumping. I suppose everyone uses his space bar for jumping. But you can even use B for jumping. But anyways, let's go ju to jump. Look for jump. And you want to select jump. And it's actually pretty easy when it's pressed. You're jumping, and um, that's that's it. So now, click play. Um, uh, just look uh, for the what did I do for here? Um, oh oh my bad, my bad. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fucking hell. I did something very wrong here. Let me just. Um. I want to change those. Access events. Look right. Because yours actually going. And, and pitch is actually 
looking up so shit um look So now it will work. So we have our character in here. So that's actually pretty, pretty. So we have our character. It can jump, as you can see. And of course, you can change the values and add crouch and that stuff. But that's um, it, I guess, for the tutorial at least. Um, you can't crouch because I didn't add that in. But that that's that. So. I'm sorry for my microphone guys, um, but um, that was the tutorial, I'll see you guys um, in uh, uh, Disneyland, bye.